You know, when you're locked up, you are guaranteed to hear some pretty outlandish things. And here today, I want to share with you guys some of the dumbest things that I ever heard while serving time. This video idea doesn't come out of the comments section. I don't know how I got to thinking about this. I also had another video idea. That, oh, I got to take a note. The many different lies civilians will tell prisoners in prison while serving time in prison. We've done the many different lies that prisoners will tell people. What about the many different lies that people will tell prisoners? I don't know if it's because of the fact that while locked up, you're going to be surrounded by what you consider to be so many dumb people. People who have done, done dumb things to get where they are. But Joe, you did dumb things. You're absolutely right. I fit right into that little category myself. And I can guarantee that I probably said some pretty dumb things as well while serving time. I'm actually trying to think about that. God, I'd love to be able to share with you guys some of the dumb things that I said. And, you know, only one thing really comes to mind right this second. Off the cuff, complete freestyle with this one. You know, when I think about dumb things that I said, I remember going to court for the charges that I had. Possession with intent to distribute and the list of charges with that. Possession of a firearm by a convicted felon while in possession of drugs. <laughs> with intent to distribute. But while going to court, my lawyer, court-appointed lawyer, she ended up quitting and becoming a federal lawyer. I thought that that was a big deal, but turns out everybody in the feds, they take a plea deal, so she didn't really have to do no work. But a nice woman nonetheless. And when the time came for my trial, because of pride alone, I was telling this woman, yo, I wanna go to trial. Their plea deal. Let's take this shit to trial. I want to see that ex-girlfriend who left me, who told me it was forever. I want to see her out there testify against me. Joe, that's called pride. You're facing like 50 years. I don't care. I don't care. And that was, I don't know necessarily if that was dumb. It all worked out in the end. I would only end up getting sentenced to seven and a half years with seven and a half years suspended. Could have been because of the color of my skin and I don't make no jokes about that. I'm being very truthful. Or it could have been because uh, like God was with me. I have no, I didn't tell nothing, Joe. But anyways, I remember that moment right there telling that lawyer, yo, we're going to trial. Hey, yo, hey, hey, f 12, we going to trial. And I think back to how badly that could have turned out for me and thank God that it did, you know? It all worked out the way that it was supposed to be and look at me now, so I'm very grateful for that. But anyways, enough with the heartstrings right there. Let's go ahead and get into some funnies. I hope that this is gonna be funny or borderline shocking. I don't necessarily know. But again, today I wanna share with you guys some of the dumbest shit that I ever heard while serving time. And the first thing that comes to mind is you had a lot of dudes like me up in there. Thug life for life, do rag tied super tight, thinking that I was Lil White or the prison Eminem or whatever. A lot of little gangster white dudes up in there. And trust me when I tell you, I wasn't even the most gangster. I know that that's hard to believe. Damn, Joe, damn, for real? You wasn't, you wasn't the most gangster? For real, though. I know, it might come as a shock to some of you guys, but I wasn't. There were dudes who were way more crazy with it than me. I'm talking about waves in their hair and all. Like, how does a white dude even get waves? I'll never forget a dude taking his hand like this and just, boom, dude had waves. I was like, shit. I was up in the cell with the hair grease and the... But it was one of these other more extreme versions of myself who would make a comment one day when somebody would say to this dude, hey, yo, you white. You can't have waves in your hair. You're white. You're white. Like Stewie with the cool whip. You are white. What? And dude's rebuttal to this. I mean, he should have been a trial lawyer, for God's sakes, the way he can just snap back with this shit. Probably rehearsed this his entire life. But his rebuttal, his clap back, was probably one of the dumbest that I had ever heard in my life. And this dude would say to the, whoever was saying what they were saying to him, hey, yo, I'm not white. I'm Caucasian. Shit almost sounds Italian if you think about it, or italic, like just the letters just slanted. I'm not white, I'm Caucasian. I ain't gonna lie, I bit that a time or two. I'm kidding. I'm not white, hey, yo, hey, for real though, hey, yo, hey, back up with that hot shit. Hey, for real, back up, back up. I ain't white, I'm Caucasian. Are there two different things that you can check on an application? I don't know whatever happened to that dude, and I don't ever know if he ever realized that white and Caucasian wore the two exact same things. Maybe they are, right? But wherever that guy's at, I, I truly wish him well. Next on this list, I will not never forget this one. I, and this one, 
I hope that I'm able to share this one as well as I remember it, but it may be one of those things where you like kind of had to be there. And I can't remember if it was my celly or not who said this, but I remember it was this young little dumbass dude. Maybe I was doing some tattoo work on him, cannot remember. But anyways, they were holding a Bible study in, maybe it was his cell. I think they were holding the Bible study in his cell. So he must have not been my celly. And I, I remember for whatever, God, no, I think they were holding the Bible study in my cell. If I can remember correctly, they, wherever. There, there was a Bible study that was taking place in some damn cell. And me and this dude ended up in this cell together for me to be able to hear this. And they were talking about things that they were grateful for. You know, because in prison, you can become humbled AF for real when you ain't got much and it's the little things, like a letter or a phone call or a visit that don't never come. But anyway, they were talking about being grateful during this Bible study and dude was like, shit. Now this dude was, uh, you know, I can't remember. I was gonna say he was like a troublemaker or some shit like, shit. I'm grateful for a lot of shit. Hey, yo, for me, hey, shit. Hey, woo. Bruh, hey, shit. I'm grateful for a lot of shit. I put that on blood. I don't know why that just struck me as so f dumb to hear, like, yo, you cussing in Bible study. But then again, I mean, shit. Yeah, damn, hey, damn, shit. Damn, I'm grateful for a lot of shit. Well, you just, well, you just booked your ticket to damnation right there. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was just so funny too. Shit, damn boy, hey, goddamn for real though. I'm grateful for a lot of shit. I hope that hit the way that I wanted it to and it wasn't just one of those things that you had to be there for. Next thing that I want to share with you guys came from this country dude. His nickname in prison was Country. Whenever you go to prison, you're going to meet 40 dudes nicknamed Country. If anybody is from any type of back roads, dirt road anthem type of an area, they're probably gonna end up with a nickname country. Big country, little country. But anyways, this dude came and he was super country. That wasn't his nickname, though it should have been. Hey, yo, you super country. But this dude was super country. And when asked where he was from, uh, one of those uh, one-liner dudes too, right? Those are probably some of the most annoying country dudes that you can run into. The guy, the guy that's got the clap back one-liner for everything. Sometimes it can be funny as shit. This one was a little sus, but it was, well, it was... I didn't ask you shit. Well, it was dumb nonetheless. And again, when asked where this dude was from, he said, Shit, where I'm from? Hey, where I'm from? I, I can't even really do a country accent. Where I'm from, verbatim, what this man said, Teeth are a premium or are limited. I can't remember exactly how he worded that part. He said something like, where I'm from, teeth are scarce. And sheep are scared. 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 So you're telling me you f animals where you're from. Where I'm from, teeth are limited and sheep are scared. Oh, you're from New York. I'm fine. I'm kidding. Could have thrown anything in there as a shot. But next on this list was a very intriguing one. And you know what's crazy about this is, man, I don't know where this dude is at. He definitely was a dude that got in quite a bit of trouble. Young kid in prison. And what I'm getting ready to share with you is damn crazy and dumb as hell. But thinking about this one in particular, I'm reminded of, it was just recently, maybe within the last month or so, I went through like almost, well, I went through all of my Facebook messages. And these things span all the way back to like, you know, late 2015. And as I'm going back through all of these Facebook messages, I see like the freaking peak of After Prison Show which is interesting and ironic enough to mention that in regards to what I'm sharing with you because it was during that time when I was getting so many messages that went unseen, messages, and I'm getting so many messages, I can't even see all these messages that were coming in, but I was getting messages from people that, you know, I would have really liked to have talked to, people that I served time with. And one person in particular, this person that I'm getting ready to share this thing with you about, you know, this guy had reached out to me and said, hey man, you know, can I borrow $60? I'm trying to get some diapers for my, my kid. And I don't know if that was being for real or not, neither here nor there. Like I said, I got no idea where this dude's at. Hopefully he's not dead because so many people that I served time with who were on my Facebook page, unfortunately are either locked up again or are dead. Not very many are doing all that great. But regardless, I didn't mean to get so deep and sentimental with this shit before sharing with you guys, I will never forget the dumb shit that this dude said while in prison. He said this during one of these groups. 
During groups, dude was, dudes would stand up and give like testimonies. Yeah, you know, it was today that I realized, yo, I just want to do it different. And it was sort of like that, what this guy got up on the stage and said. He was a young guy, probably like 22 years old. He was a youth offender. He had to complete this program or end up going to a higher level prison and serving more than like the two, almost three years that the program was in terms of youth offenders. But dude stood up one day and gave this testimony. Hey, yo, I just realized I want to do it different. I'm going to do it different. I am a changed man. I actually wrote a song in prison called that. Yo, this testimony that this dude gave was powerful. Like, you know, hey, I realized the error of my ways. Like, I want to do it different. And in prison, you don't really know what you can believe or not. And I, I know some are probably wondering, Joe, like, why is this dumb? This sounds great. Like a dude in prison, a young dude at that, realizing the error of his ways and the fact that he wants to do it different. Well, the reason it was so dumb is because it was a lie. And that's where I was going. Like, I get so off track. But anyways, I want to mention that as well. You don't ever know what you can believe. Just because dude says something doesn't mean that it's true. Just because he says the sky is blue doesn't mean that it is. You better look for yourself because that bitch might be purple. But he got up there and he gave this super powerful testimony. Yo, I'm a changed man. I'm going to do it different. I'm going to go home and do it for my son. I'm going to go. Uh, God, God is good. It was not an hour later that the prison was getting locked down. Group had long since been over. And this dude was experiencing some sort of a bad trip from some spice. Spice which was a huge hot commodity back in my day in prison. And they had some bad shit come in and this dude was wigging the F out. So much in fact that I think he was clucking like a duck or a chicken and the guard saw this dude like literally thinking that he was a duck, told him, hey, look, stop, hey, stop with the, hey, in some kind of a way, dude was clucking his way up to the guard. Bark, bark, bark. And then the guard whooped this dude's ass, said that, you know, dude tried to assault him. And dude was gone. Dude got sent to like a level three, four. And I think he ended up having to do like four, maybe five years altogether, which wasn't too bad. I mean, it was way worse than what it was initially, but I guess it could have been a hell of a lot worse. And that was just such a crazy thing to experience. Like here's a dude in one hand who tells you he's going to do it totally different. He's changed. And not even an hour later, 60 minutes later, this dude is in isolation. The prison is locked down because of him. He wasn't really assaulting the guard. I don't know. Maybe he hit him with one of his duck wings. Bung! And that was it. That was Rap City for that dude. So that shit was super dumb. There's only two more things on this list that I want to share with you guys. And if you've been locked up and you've heard some people say some stupid ass shit, hey, share that down below in the comment section. Let us all get a good laugh from that. But these last two things that I want to share with you guys are from guards. Yes, they are. One of these guards I couldn't stand. Actually, both of these guards I couldn't stand. Pretty crazy, but it, oh my gosh, shut up Siri. But anyways, this one guard, he was a real POS and he used to always come in trying to like play on the emotions of the prisoners. Now I remember that a race war almost got started because of this dude. Can't really remember too much about that. I know I shared about that in the past. Very messed up situation. But anyways, this guy would always come in bitching about changes coming down the pipe or pike, something like that. Change is coming down the pike, Jim. Hey boy. Change is coming down the pike. Y'all better get your shit together, boy. Change coming down the pike. The f*** does that even mean? Change coming down the pike. I've been here for two years. Ain't nothing changed. You're a liar. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. But he was too fat to be thinking he did any crack. Change is coming down the pike. Pipe, something like that. That was a real dumb thing they used to hear this guard say all the time. But even worse than that, we got the real creme de la creme that I saved for the last one. And it was from this female guard who always used to work with this dude. And I mean, if he was bad, she was worse. And this chick was super bipolar. And you know what's crazy is some dudes would still be trying to flirt with this chick. This chick kind of looked like Predator in the face. Like, you know, Predator from that movie Aliens or Predators? Something like that? Aliens vs. Predators? She looked just like that. And dudes, boy, they'd be getting all... Hey, yo, hey, old turnip green working, that's close to what her name was. Someday she would laugh and joke with dudes, those same dudes that she would laugh and joke with. The next day she wasn't feeling it, she would lock them up for the laughing and joking. But this one day, you know, she was letting the joking ride just a little bit. And dudes would, you know, dudes could say anything to her. Man, shut up, girl, that's why you look like, 
That's why you look like the predator in the face, which is quite an ugly thing to be compared to, but she did. So the laughing and joking got pretty far and this was almost heard around the world, or at least in, in terms of the prison world, this was the shot heard around the world. But somebody had made a comment about her female parts, the nether regions, and you know, laughing and joking, saying something along the lines of that that stunk, stinks. I don't know how they would know. Hey, that's why your stinks. And on one of her better days, not the bipolarness, which you got to imagine, you got to be bad shit crazy if that doesn't affect you on a good day. Like that would affect anybody on any day to say something like that about them. But anyway, she was laughing. Ah, yeah, yeah. And her rebuttal to that, her clap back, her trial defense lawyer response, her closing argument was, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, okay, well, yeah, you know it. Well, if my stinks, at least this tight. Did she just say that she does Hey, back shower, who next? Hey, back shower. The line was wrapped around the store like they were giving away free gas at the gas station. Folks, that's all I got for you in this one, and I truly hope that this was a video that you guys enjoyed. And if it was, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about this. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace!